Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the third and final video of this Oregon trip. Uh, hope you enjoyed the last two, and hope this one gets right to the point a little more <laughs> than those two did, unless you just enjoy looking at all the scenery just as much as I did. But starting off this morning, we're going to be doing a lot of walking, so let's get right into it, although I do enjoy just looking at this video of the morning drive through the fog <laughs> past Portland and a little further east. It was it was a long drive, but it's just nice to be out there in the Pacific Northwest early in the morning. You can see lots of interesting things. I'm pretty sure I saw a an elk with a very, very white coat somewhere, <laughs> but it scampered off very quickly. But anyway, let's get right into it. Well, good morning, and if you can hear a waterfall sound behind me, <laughs> it's because we're now at Multnomah Falls, second highest continuous waterfall. This is great. It really doesn't get better, but at the same time, there's so many people. It's not even 9 o'clock in the morning. But... Yeah, I'm gonna get a couple shots of this and then probably go to Ferry Falls. But, whew, and then I'll elaborate when there's not as many people. Now, you're probably thinking, yes, it's a very common, and very populated waterfall, so everybody and their brother has taken a photo of it, and you're right. But um, composition-wise, it's I think it's pretty easy to do a a simple vertical shot just because the waterfall is so tall it is the second tallest waterfall um, for a year-round waterfall not just for a certain season but I also think you know there's nothing wrong with taking a full frame you know horizontal shot especially with a, an ultra wide angle lens you would just most likely have the waterfall in the dead center of the frame so, you know, it is what it is, but after I took a couple of shots, which I think are okay, I just wanted to enjoy the early morning there before the sun hit, and it was still kind of dark, and there weren't too many people, so it was just, it was nice. But then I also thought, hey, why not hike up to that middle bridge? I certainly wasn't going to go all the way up there and, and lose time trying to go to other waterfalls, but from the bridge, I feel I got a closer look of what most people wouldn't photograph from down in the, the main spot before hiking. And also because it wasn't too popular yet in the morning, it was pretty easy to navigate the bridge without everybody else crowding around and, and getting in each other's way. So there's that one done. Let's move on. Hiking, hiking, hiking. If this little guy can make it that far, so can you. You look like a pickle. Dude, you've only got that much more to go. Going up the hill a slug, but coming down a mountain. On the trek to the waterfalls, I'll give you three guesses what that is in the distance. It's beautiful and a nice bit of Washington right over there. <laughs> but uh, behind me, I'm hiking up the trail from Multnomah Falls, walking about a half a mile to Joaquina Falls and Ferry Falls. I about to say files. Files, y'all. Files. Someone commented they could hear my Texas twang, but I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to do that. I just. I was speaking very lazily. But uh, behind me is a tiny little, very faint waterfall. So that's pretty cool. I'm not there yet. I don't think it's worth the picture because there's not much to it, but cool sound. And oh my goodness, the trees. That in and of itself 
All right, so here we are at the base of Joaquina Falls, I believe. And I thought this was really cool how it split off into two and then joined back to a main little path. And this was also an experiment with horizontal and vertical framing. And there was a lot around it, but I think it, it wasn't so much business, but it kind of just adds to the feel, at least for me personally. If you've hiked right by here, let me know your experience too. But yeah, I think the vertical shot won this round. So, here's the top of Joaquina Falls, which I was right down there right to the left of those rocks and now huh, this area is gonna get a little misty wet but that's okay I'm going right past or at least I'm going to hide my camera <laughs> okay before all the rest of the people come over here just past the head of Joaquina Falls. At least I think it's the head, the top of it. And <laughs> oh, that was fun to get a little wet. <laughs> it's uh, worth it though. I didn't get too close. I didn't want to get the camera body wet. But uh, look down here, flipping this over, turning it around. That looked like a piece of chalk or something that said 1K. So I'm wondering, is the elevation, are we a thousand feet up? I'm not sure, I can't tell. But uh, either way, I should have put this back on the tripod because I'm holding it with my hand and, oh man, the Tamron 24 to 70 is a bit of a brick. But I've also got uh, more elevation, so. Man, this is gonna get anybody in shape. But uh, earlier, for uh, the lower part of Joaquina Falls, where I went up to the rock and then pulled up Google Maps, which actually worked right there, oddly enough. And I noticed that it isn't part of the trail. So I was way off the trail, but at least in a good part of, uh, you know, as far as photography goes, I found the sweet spot to get the waterfall. But uh, anyway, sorry for the jiggle. Uh, I, I feel a lot more confident than I used to about uh, composition and rule of thirds, all that good stuff. It made a lot more sense now. Felt pretty good about it. Ooh, another bumblebee. But uh, the I think what's gonna have to happen with these waterfall shots, at least these two, the first one, uh, I'm gonna try to do some focus stacking. Not just exposure blending, even though I'd, I did the HDR bracketing. Uh, but the focus stacking, if you'll notice to the lower left of the screen, there's some shrubbery that's a little closer than everything else. So I did the manual focus on the waterfall and then did manual focus uh, exposure bracketing on the little plants in front. It's been a morning. I got here early, had breakfast at the house right by Monoma Falls. It's a big, big building. It reminds me of some nice Tudor style architecture, which I love. Okay, well, we're uh, at least we're done with the winding. So, and 
viewpoint. dream and call this a moment of carpe diem? Oh yeah. Well, after what I thought was a grueling trek up, and I'm glad I used one of my tripod legs as a walking stick, I made it to what I felt like was my reward, Fairy Falls. Let's take a few moments to take it all in and then get a little wet getting the shot. Oh, don't judge me for being silly in the moment. I earned it. I was happy and enjoying myself, just like you would too. Damn right I earned a silly selfie. Because just getting there Oh my god. I haven't had this brutal of a hike upwards for, I think, a mile since the first time I hiked up the mountains when I lived in Austria for a month. It was when I was 17. That hurt so much. This, this, yeah, my legs are gonna get stronger. Nice people walking up here, but uh, anyway, let me bump the ISO up a little more. Yeah, the sun is kind of, what time is it? I think I'm falling farther behind time now. 10.49, okay, it's not that bad. I actually hike and walk faster than I think I do. But, uh, oh my God. You can't, uh, you can't see the ledges from right here, but it's a lot of zigzag, very steep zigzag going up. Oh, of course, it's right behind the tree now. Yeah, you can see that. Looks pretty cool. But, uh, mm, I really hope I have enough images to make something worthwhile. I think I do, and I appreciate all the friends who pop out of the woodwork <laughs> if I ask. I'm like, hey, do you think I'm I'm doing good with the photos? I say, are you kidding me? I want to buy a print. So I thought, okay. That's a bonus. It's not the only reason I do it, but times being what they are, who's going to say no to getting a bit of money from selling a print? Hmm? Uh, the sound of the waterfalls, the the cool weather from the water. <laughs> oh man, thank God getting down is a little easier on my legs. I think I need more B-roll, but you know what, I could always put narration over it, but hey, here's a spot for B-roll. All right, for the one brief moment of non-driving B-roll, I'm going to show you what I felt was probably my best shot of the whole trip and also what I think is my best edit to date. Just good scenery. Check this out. If you can hear me.
you know, maybe I was wrong. Just coming back down, this is a much needed spot to cool off. So my thanks to the good people of Oregon for carving out these trails, making it possible for everybody to hike up and see these bits of nature and these wonderful natural works of art. Thank y'all so much. I really appreciate all this. And while I'm at it, I'll thank you, the viewer, too, if you'd be so kind as to hit the like and subscribe button, because that'll help the channel grow. And even though this kind of thing, these kind of videos are a rarity, because travel is not cheap, but things like this are just so worth it. So I hope y'all appreciate it. Now, just a little enjoyment of general history on the Columbia River Gorge. In the distance, it is it is such a hazy day, even with the complete blue skies, which is usually pretty good, but with the heat wave that came in, ugh. Anyway, on from the Vista House, I managed to barely get a signal on my GPS to make it up another long drive zigzagging up a mountain and what came next was nothing short of awe-inspiring, even in the haze. This is like a fucking religious experience, <laughs> if I may use the term. <laughs> I got up to the, drove up to the top of Large Mountain, found my way up to Sherrod Point, which is the peak of this mountain. And the second that I got, up these stairs, actually even before then, if you can see this, let me try. Yeah, it looks more in the distance because I've got this at 24 mil, but I saw Mount Hood and all of a sudden it was just like out of nowhere. I just started getting choked up and teary-eyed because I'm looking at five mountains Five of the biggest mountains I've ever seen in my life. Really? Okay, yes. The biggest mountains I've ever seen in my life. So, way out over there. I'm going to switch to the 70 to 200 in a minute. But I got to show you because this is amazing. Mount, they got little concrete plaques here at the top. So, you know which one you're looking at, thankfully. I was worried about that. So, Mount Jefferson, 62 miles that way. Oh, I can hear more people coming up, but yeah, it's there. Mount Hood, 22 miles away. But. And Mount Adams, Mount Rainier, and Mount St. Helens. And before this next group of people comes up, I'm gonna enjoy the little emotional time I have for myself. Because uh, this is just amazing! I can't, I can't be any more excited than I already am. <laughs> I'm at the top of a mountain! Oh, it's gonna take a while to get back down the mountain, so I'm probably not gonna have time. I've done so much walking today. I'm just gonna spend the rest of the afternoon, evening around Cannon Beach and Ecola State Park. I mean, driving back down to Tillamook for Cape Mears. I don't think I'm gonna make it by four, but that's okay. Should have bought more water, <laughs> but that's all right. But yeah, on to the photos for this.
Okay, close to the last shot of today. Ooh, the, the Peter Iredor. Look at that. Touch an actual shipwreck. And what is left of it? That's all I came down for. And now to quickly drive back to the Cola State Park. Just to see if I can get the Tillamook Lighthouse. I hope. And then and spend the rest of the evening relaxing on haystack and get some dinner. And that'll be it for the day. All right, almost the last stop of the day, Ecola State Park, where they film the Goonies, Kindergarten Cop, and other things. It's, uh, Well, awning here is not where the restaurant was, as many other videos have said. <laughs> but mostly, I'm only here to get two shots. One of Cannon Beach down there, and then the lighthouse over that way. So, yeah, short and sweet. Oh yeah, and by the way, this is also right where I'm standing is uh, where the Goonies, you know, climbed up in that dreary weather. Right past this ab active landslide, no entry fence. Eh, but it was different back in 1985. I hope you don't mind indulging me for a moment. It's just, I get excited, as you know from the first video, when I get to step into a moment of film history. That's just, that's kind of my jam. Apart from this, of course. But this moment here, I felt deserved a bit of a panorama shot. Finally got the ND filter on here. Finally have time to put it on there. But what I'm gonna have to do, because I don't think I brought my filter adapter, I'm just gonna have to hold the ND filter slash CPL. Yeah, two in one. Uh, just hold it right in front of the 70 to 200. Point it right out at the lighthouse, please. Not bad sun, but there's a lot of haze on the horizon, and gotta get creative here. Hopefully it comes out okay. I think it will. You know, this would almost be funny, except for the fact that it isn't, but at least I got this whole section to myself. That and yesterday and the day before, Thursday and Friday, it was very windy in the evenings and very cold, but Right now, it's still about 80 degrees. The heat wave came back here. Hey, schmaze. Just enjoy the moment. Here's the shot of the lighthouse. It's not perfect, but yeah, it's fun. And after that, back to the beach to enjoy the sunset. Here we are, last sunset here at Cannon Beach. And there's a lot of people, and it's gonna take me a while to walk back to Haystack. Yeah, everybody's just watching the sunset. It's awesome. So, better swim for the lighthouse, laddie. The fog is rolling in. And Yep, my forehead is burnt. I thought it was a wind burn, but apparently I got a little too much sun, even though I thought I was more underneath the trees. But, oh well. Yeah. That's 
Look at that. That's just that's what it's all about. Nope. Just enjoying the last night there. Taking it all in. Seeing a lot of groups of people having many, many bonfires on the beach, which I just think is cool. You can't do that in Galveston. You gotta drive down to other parts of the Texas coast. But yeah, what better way to end this trip with a nice foggy sunset shot of Haystack? I don't know. Interpret this in your own way. Leave a comment down below. Again, I really appreciate y'all taking the time to watch this. And I hope you got something out of it. Whether it cured your insomnia, or you were entertained by anything, or you enjoyed any of the photos I got. So, that's about it for this one. Thanks for indulging me for this trip. So, we'll see what, uh, we'll see what the next trip holds. I'm going to save that for a surprise, but I think you'll know. Have a good one. Thank you for watching. If, if you want, give the video a little thumbs up. It really helped not only the video, but the channel itself. And maybe subscribe while you're at it. Just to keep up with the future videos. I'm trying to get back into it on a more regular basis as much as I can. So, thank you very much for watching. Y'all be excellent, and I will see you in the next one.